The claims come from a letter dated this week to the editor of the St. Mary's Gazette record. Titled, We Need a Change in Sheriff's Office, two St. Mary's City Council members detail several instances where they argue the Benoit County Sheriff's Office has acted negligently or unprofessionally. The letter also acts as an endorsement of another candidate running for county sheriff. Notably, the two city council members first address a service contract between the City of St. Mary's and the Sheriff's Office for police patrols within city limits. The letter says that the council and the St. Mary's mayor have noticed a quote lack of police presence within the city. Now we did attempt to reach out to Benoit County Sheriff Dave Resser regarding this story, but we're told he wasn't in today. Now Resser did speak with the local paper and defended the claims, arguing that three of his deputies are assigned to patrol the city of St. Mary's. He also pointed out that the sheriff's office headquarters is physically within the city itself and questioned the logic of not being able to patrol the city. But the letter also brought to light errors made by deputies in the field and ensuing claims that have cost the county thousands of dollars. Notably, the council members claimed that a deputy responding to a domestic violence call wrongly slashed the tires of parked cars at a home. In speaking with the paper, Sheriff Resser explained that a deputy was instructed to disable cars at the scene so that a suspect couldn't pursue a victim. However, the sheriff explained that the move to slash the tires was wrong and that the deputy made a mistake and was reprimanded. That incident cost the county about 7,000 bucks, the paper reported. Resser said that the incident could have turned into a murder and that the county could have potentially been liable for a wrongful death lawsuit. In another instance, the council members claimed that a deputy playing quick draw shot a hole through his patrol car. Resser told the paper that the incident wasn't portrayed correctly. A newly hired deputy was practicing how to draw his gun from his triple lock holster when he accidentally fired his gun and shot the windshield of his car. As a result, the deputy paid out of pocket to fix the damage. Council members wrote that they feared further negligence from the sheriff's office and associated lawsuits could potentially cost taxpayers down the road. Resser also told the paper that he encouraged council members to contact him directly with concerns and said that the letter to the editor was an effort to put a, quote, political spin on the situation. I did manage to contact one of the city council members who penned the letter. He declined further comment but said he stood by what he wrote in the letter. Taylor Vido, Cram 2 News.